Uh, here we are, Easter morning, and we're here at Rock Fantasy. Thought I'd do a little walkthrough this morning. We uh, have been doing some renovations and remodeling, uh, a little remodeling, a lot of restocking. First, we've got the 60 by 90 tapestries. There's always a lot of fun. Most of these are 3D. Some of them are glow-in-the-dark or blacklight responsive. We have a big selection, just got some new ones in the shop. Of course, we're written ready for Record Store Day 2022. Excuse the t-shirt walls. We have a bunch of shirts coming in, and we need to restock some of those, but we do have some to redo the walls before. Of course, this is the week of 420 and Record Store Day, and hopefully we've got you guys covered with some new releases, and for 420... Got a little surprise for everyone. We've actually really restocked and done some remodeling in the smoke shop. So we'll take a walk through. Uh, put some LED lighting in the cases. Did a lot of cleaning up. We got the hand pipes. American and import mixed. And some American glass. Some new trays, some rolling trays. Candles, sprays. Keep your house smelling good. We've got some cut by everything to clean up in here with the cleaners. 420, we just got the Gurlala water pipe cleaners in too. A new company we've been working with. Of course, we got Elton John's Captain Fantastic and two classic pinballs up front with Evil Knievel also. We've got some synthetics, detox drinks to clean out your system. Uh, some vapes, vape pens, the Volcano, of course, one of the good ones. Different vaporizers, Kratom, glass from Grav Labs Institutes out of Texas. We've got the Gravitrons back in. We have some original Roar, Roar Tech and Roar pieces. A few left of uh, P&M distributors are long out of business, but we have some of their ceramic stuff left. Once it's gone, it's gone. CBD and Delta. Delta pre-rolls, we've got candies, we've got lighters, we've got a lot of water pipes. Like we said, we just restocked some cool ones, torches, we've got some HVY glass, which is made in the United States. In this case, just restocked. We've got some Lucas. We just redid the ceiling in here, and I'm quite happy with it. It's a little bright this morning. But when it's a little darker out, we don't get the light from the sun, from the window. We've put in a nice black light room. We've got a bit of a light show going on the ceiling, which is going to be made better. Of course, all these black light posters are for sale. And we have our 60 by 90 tapestries being displayed just to give you an idea what they'd look like and how much room they can and fill a, a plain wall or something and really make it into... A colorful uh, experience and there's our Grateful Dead we've got a space one we've got the skeleton and roses which is 3d if you put it on the glasses it'll pop and of course Pink Floyd a couple different colors some more black light posters some glass from sour some of the classic rump designs of ceramics which were very popular from the late 70s this was a company uh, that by the name of Rumpf, a person that made all these. There were hundreds of these at one time. He was unfortunately killed years ago in L.A. crossing a street. But we still have some of his works, part of the old school. Plenty of down stems, bowls. We just redid a black light case, so they got some glow-in-the-dark items. So if you have a black light at home, if you want to have that whole experience, we have some stuff in here for you. More water pipes. We're back with the US 2s. US water pipes, tobacco pipes are back with us. Been gone a few years and we have some of their stuff even up in here. But it's been selling quite well. And it's good to get some of our folks back in here. We have some glass from Chameleon and Crush, a lot of American made glass in this case. And of course, this case, we have the family tree glass, which is our good friend of good friends, the Holtzhammers, 
And we have a shipment of their stuff coming in soon. This is all hand blown in Vermont, handcrafted and great stuff. Of course, grinders. Just trying to give a store a little bit of a spiffy uh, spring cleaning, I'd say. Just got in some Metallica shirts. It's been forever. We have a hard time with getting T-shirts with the supply chain issues that everyone's dealing with. Of course, the bubble hockey wants you to play. Here's our heavy metal vinyl section. Plenty of new stuff in. Ready for record store day. Of course, we carry everything in here. We don't just carry heavy metal stuff. We specialize in it, but we have all the classic rock you can think of and that's a lot of you know we could use more used records so if you're watching this and got some records to sell we carry a lot of used stuff but it goes in almost as quick as we get it in it goes right out the door first we've got some uh hip-hop we got some top 40 we got some modern pop over here in this section so try to carry everything we got madonna up here 1990 greatest hits that just came in, so we got poster rack, we got decals, got masks, bandanas, a little snack bar for the pinball area, and let's take a walk to the pinball area, shall we? Of course, we got some rock fantasy hoodies and some t-shirts and some rock banners. Of course, our CD section, we've got some knuckle bones, rock icons. Some old bobbleheads we've had for years, but we're still selling them. And hey, we're selling them here and there. They're pretty collectible. They have been made in a long time. Of course, our reaction, because we have CDs in there. Our reaction figures, Super 7, various monsters and Iron Maiden and Paul Bailoff and Circle Jerks and just a variety of different characters. Run DMC, Turtles, Grateful Dead. Planet of the Apes, Masters of the Universe, He-Man. We got some Rock Carnival mirrors. They're twenty bucks. A rock Fantasy logo or a Gorgar pinball logo. And here we go. Hope I'm not going too fast. Bear with me. We walk into the pinball area. Here we are with the heavy metal. Very rare game came out last year. I think only three hundred were made, and maybe even less. Godzilla Premium. The Led Zeppelin, which is part of our high score tournament. We do a monthly tournament every every month. Benefits Project Pinball. And this month it's on Led Zeppelin. You can come in and play it at any time during the month. You just put in some extra credits and you'll press the tournament button and you'll be in the tournament. The top three will get prizes back. We've got ACDC. We've got Guns N' Roses. Jersey Jack. We've got Bimbo. We got Wizard and Needs a Little Love. We got the classic Kiss, the Kiss Stern, the Elvis, the Beatles, Stern. Of course, both Rolling Stones, the classic Valley, and that. We do have a change machine now. We got some cool little cups to put your coins in. Rock Fantasy logo there on them. You can also buy them for five bucks if you want to have them for a, a cocktail party or outdoor beer party. We got the black light posters, two of them. We've got the brand new pinball from Stern. The theme is Rush, the band, of course, the Canadian rock trio. And it's awesome that we got to have a Rush pinball machine for 2022. If you're a fan of the band, it's a great experience. If you're not a fan of the band, it's still a great light show, great music, all different kinds of ramps. Black Knight, Swords of Rage, Medieval Madness, Chicago Gaming. Metallica, Master of Puppets, L.E., Iron Maiden, Legacy of the Beast, Premium, Aerosmith, Pro, Walking Dead, Premium, Rob Zombie's Spook Show International by Spooky Pinball is here. We usually have the Alice Cooper. It's in the shop right now. It's back at my house. We're having some issues with it. It will return eventually. Monsters Pinball Pro, signed by my good friend Butch Patrick. Monster Bash, Chicago Gaming, LE. We walk into the second room. We've got Adam's Family. We've got Creature from the Black Lagoon, for Bally. We've got Elvira's House of Horrors Premium, or it's Standard Edition. We've got Attack from Mars. 
with the topper. We've got Star Wars, The Mandalorian Pro. We've got Star Wars, classic, Data East, 1990s. We've got Jurassic Park, premium. We've got Guardians of the Galaxy Pro. We've got Batman. We've got one here that shut off because it was giving us everyone free games. But it's one of our new additions. It's a very rare game, very unique game from Stern Electronics. As she comes alive, it's Stern's Catacomb. Works sort of as a bingo game, Bagatelle. You have a back box that has a flipper. And you're trying to light squares to go across. You have plenty of drop targets and a multi-ball. And it's an odd game, but we picked it up from the Sanctum, our friends at the Sanctum up in Connecticut. We're hearing some noise out of this room. Swords of Fury was just talking to us. This is our retro pinball room. We got Machine Bride of Pinbot. We got Gottlieb's Genie. We've got the classic Stern Electronics, Ted Nugent. This is the first rock and roll, heavy metal, whatever you want to call it, rock music theme pinball, pretty much. Licensed one, at least. They did make one kind of about the Beatles at one time before, but it was not licensed. And here's Ted Nugent, was a huge entertainer in the 70s and was the first guy to make have a pinball made. We've got the classic Theater Magic. We've got the classic Stern Sea Witch. We've got the classic, pretty rare, Stern Cheetah. We've got Flash Gordon, signed by Sam J. Jones, which is here. It's not our game, but it's here on loan, so people can enjoy it. We have Stern Nine Ball, another kind of odd, rare game that we just recently picked up also from the Sanctum. And wonderful game to play. Of course, the first talking pinball is here, Gorgar, a, a game that will never leave. The selection here and we wrap things up last but not least the classic cyclone by williams the amusement park experience and uh, i guess that kind of wraps up our visit we'll take a walk back through what i call the black light tunnels for the pinball petting zoo they want you to pet them they want you to put the quarters in their slots and feed them and they will give you a fun time. Blacklight posters. Of course, we have another blacklight poster rack up here. Plenty of blacklight posters to choose from. We have about 100 different ones for sale in the shop currently. Some flocked, some non-flocked. Of course, Mr. Polar Bear wishing everyone a happy Sunday. Since we're filming on Sunday... The shop's open seven days a week, 12 to 7. And uh, I hope you guys can come in and enjoy the store. And it's a struggle, of course, for everyone in these crazy times we're living in. And the power of music hopefully can keep us all together. Play a little pinball. And I guess that'll wrap it up.